Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live and this article here coming out on Fox News. Watch what they have to say here. Syrian airstrike kills as many as 22, mostly children, outside of school. Listen to what they're reporting right here. Syrian crisis continues to unfold on the world stage. This time, the Syrian rescue group known as the White Helmets is reporting that an airstrike outside a school in the rebel-held province of Idib has killed at least 17 people. Most of the dead, sadly, are children. Uh, that Amazing. Now, you know the one thing that would just send me uh, immediately realizing that there may not be any truth to what is being spoken about here is when they said the White Helmets have reported this. Unfortunately, even Virtual Jerusalem, they're running across the top of their own headlines here. 22 children killed in an airstrike of course, by Russia or Syria or one or both. But then we come over here and RT brings out some very powerful information here that challenges this assessment. We already know that Russia is saying that they have they had no warplanes in this area during the time that this was claimed to be going on. So what is, what is RT bringing out about on here? School in Syria, Idlib province, not hit by airstrike drone uh, airstrike drone photos show Russian MOD. All right, let's see what they have to say there. By the way, the red line in their protesters is arrested at the camp near Dakota Access Pipeline photo and video. You guys, if you get a chance, take a look over there. They've been running a live feed, and RT is helping the world to get to know more about what's going on there. That's the Dakota Police Department there, along with a lot of extra help there, moving away the protesters there. And I happen to stand with the Native American Indians in their protest to have clean water and not be contaminated by gas or, or oil pipelines ran, ran through their lands. They have a right to their own land, and I do agree with them on that. Anyway, the Russian Defense Ministry says that it has dispatched a drone to analyze the site on on Wednesday's alleged bombing of the school in Idlib, Syria. The ministry says the aircraft spotted no evidence of airstrikes and accused the white helmets of faking digital image of the attack. On Thursday, a Russian UAV was directed to the area to conduct detailed digital photography, said a statement from the Defense uh, Ministry spokes, uh, spokesman Major General Igor Konashkanov. Uh, as can be seen from the photos taken by the drone, there are no signs of damage to the roof uh, of the school or craters from airstrikes around it. Now that's this photo here where they're showing you right here. Uh, and clearly, like they say, there is no signs of that whatsoever. Now, notice on this as well, uh, it says, we have analyzed the photo and video evidence on uh, of, of this supposed attack. The video published in a range of Western media outlets appears to consist of more than 10 different shots filmed at, 10, filmed at different times of the day and different resolutions that were edited in a single clip, continue Kanashkanov. The photograph published by AFP shows that only one wall of the school is damaged and all the desks inside the classroom are in place. The outer fence seen through the hole has no traces of damage from bomb fragments. A genuine airstrike, this uh, in a genuine airstrike, this is physically impossible. The furniture would have been swept away by the blast wave and there would have been damage marks as the classroom walls and the outer fence. And I just think, friends, I just wanted to bring this to your attention because they're making it constantly trying to build in the Western media, trying to get the people to have uh, 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 a, a backing for the U.S. NATO forces to come in and attack Bashar al-Assad by a bunch of false propaganda media. And it's really getting sickening to see just how much of this is going on out here. Let me share something else with you here. Yvonne Pernar, right here on an article that Sputnik released today, and we've actually reached out to uh, uh, Ivan excuse me, not Ivan, Ivan, Ivan Pernar, we've reached out to him already and he has agreed to actually come on in an interview with us. He said, NATO is posing a threat to the whole world like Hitler's Germany. Um, and he states, uh, goes on here, he says, Brussels is nervous since there are people who question fairy tales of EU bureaucrats about a better life in the European Union as well as so-called peace and stability ensured by NATO. In NATO, 
excuse me, in fact, NATO has ensured the opposite. The alliance has violated and trampled down on national freedom and sovereignty instead of protecting them. NATO supports overthrowing legitimate governments throwing bombing, through bombings instead of advocating democracy, Pernar said. Uh, this was brought out by uh, Sputnik News. Very interesting uh, comments that, that uh, Mr. Ivan has made here. And I have to agree with him. That's exactly, unfortunately, even as an American citizen, that's very much what we are seeing uh, the U.S. Obama administration is doing all over the world, including that with Syria, of course, under President Bush with Iraq. And uh, whether it be, whether it be uh, uh, any of the other nations there that are going on as well, Libya the, uh, currently, uh, and now going in even into Africa uh, in different places there. Very troubling indeed, the, the things that we're seeing happening in modern times. It is a quest to overtake an entire world. It is a new world order without question. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.